it's Dr. Lindsay Briney from Shine Pediatric Dentistry. It's so nice to see you today. We're going to go over now how about healthy snacks, what's good for your teeth and what's bad for your teeth. Some of you may have already listened to one of our favorite books, Sugar Bug Doug, that talk, talk to you all about how to take care of your teeth and a little bit about healthy snacking. So now we're going to test your knowledge and see what you can do and what you know. All right, here we go. So we have two categories for our teeth. We have healthy snacks, which are tooth yay, good for your teeth. And then we have not so healthy snacks that cause decay, which is a hole in your tooth like this guy. Look at him. He looks so sad. Not good for your teeth. So let's jump right on in and let's start with an easy one. How about this? It's an apple. Where do you think an apple goes? Do you think it's good for your teeth or bad for your teeth? Well, apples, they're a fruit and they're crunchy. And so they make your teeth happy. So that goes in the tooth, yay. All right, let's see, let's pick yogurt. Is yogurt good for your teeth? Well, yogurt's made of dairy and dairy's good for your teeth. So that would actually be a pretty good snack. So we're gonna put that in tooth, yay, also. All right, let's get to this. What's this? Looks like a donut. Donut's full of sugar and it kind of sticks to your teeth. And so that's going to go under tooth decay. Not so great for your teeth. How about these? Graham crackers. Are graham crackers good for your teeth? Well, they're not the worst snack that you could have if you think about like good for your body, but graham crackers are actually not great for your teeth. How come? Because they get stuck down in your teeth. And then when they stick there, like if you've ever eaten them before and you open your mouth, you got graham crackers stuck all around. And it takes a lot to get that, that extra graham cracker out of your teeth. So they stick around. So they're not good for your teeth. All right. So we're going to put those in tooth decay. All right. How about this? How about a juice, right? Juice is made of fruit and maybe even veggies. So it's kind of, it could be good for your body, but it's full of sugar too. And it sticks to your teeth and it, and it or just like coats your teeth in that sugar. And so it's not so great for your teeth. So we definitely don't want to drink a lot of juice, no more than one glass of juice a day. All right. And if you're going to drink it, you need to drink it and be done with it and drink water afterwards. How about a lettuce, a nice, healthy salad, good for your body and good for your teeth. How about this melon, these melons? Once again, it's a fruit, so it's good for your body and good for your teeth. How about this one? Probably a pretty easy one, right? Lots of candy. Everybody knows that candy's not so great for our teeth. How about this kind of candy? Gummy sour worms. Well, you might like them in your belly. These ones are awful for your teeth. How come? Number one, they're sticky. Number two, they're sour. And that bacteria that lives in your mouth that makes those holes in them, they love sticky, sour stuff. So these are not good for your teeth at all. How about this? A healthy vegetable, a carrot. A carrot is awesome for your teeth. They're in the category of the apple and carrots are my favorite foods for your teeth because they're crunchy and if you pair them with like graham crackers, they'll get all those graham crackers out of your teeth, which is pretty awesome. All right, let's get to this one. How about a goldfish? Goldfish crackers, not so bad, right? Nope, just like those graham crackers, they stick to your teeth for a really long time and then they cause cavities. How about this? This is one of those fruit strips or like a fruit roll up. You think, oh, look, it's a fruit. It's good for me, right? Nope. Remember that fruit is sticky and because they made it dry and sticky, then it has a lot more sugar in it that your teeth can eat. So that sticky sugar gets stuck to your teeth. So not great for your teeth. This one right here is kind of in the same category, shaped like a fruit. Must be good for you, right? Nope, they're trying to trick you, boys and girls. They're super, super sticky. 
Fruit snacks are like candy, and so we can't eat them every day. What about these juices, like a juice box and things like that? Good to have as a special treat sometimes, but not something you wanna sip on all day. Not good for your teeth. So what drinks are good for your teeth? Look at this. Here is a glass of milk. A glass of milk is dairy, so it's really good for your teeth. It makes your bones nice and strong. It makes your teeth nice and healthy. But the only thing is, is you don't wanna sip on it all day. You just want to eat it or drink it with meals and snacks. So what's the best drink for your teeth, my friends? A glass of water. Water is the best drink for your whole body and your teeth. It rinses away all these sticky treats that you have and all the sticky foods that you have, and it makes those sugar bugs not be able to be active in your mouth. They, that means that it rinses them all away. So it's really, really important to drink water when you're thirsty and to drink water after meals and snacks and in between meals and snacks to keep those sugar bugs away. All right, what about this broccoli? Yep, super crunchy and a vegetable and super good for your teeth. Cucumbers too, super healthy and super great for your teeth. We even get to say berries. Berries are super good for your teeth too. And what about nuts? They're crunchy, but they don't stick to your teeth and they don't have any sugar. So nuts can be a really awesome snack. How about this soda? Or how about this Gatorade? What do you think about these? Maybe can be good for, maybe Gatorade can be good for your body if you've been like super sweaty and running around outside in the summer, or maybe if you're sick and you need, you need something to help your body, sometimes Gatorade's okay. But every day, not a good snack. Super acidy, like, the, like those sugar bugs love, and super sweet, so not great for your teeth. Same thing with the soda. The soda and the Gatorade are like one and the same. They both have lots of acid and they both have lots of sugar. Not so great for your teeth. Those are cavity causers for sure. What about these pretzels? They're just like those graham crackers and those goldfish. They get stuck in your teeth and they cause cavities. All right, what about this cookie? Same thing, get stuck, not so great for your teeth. What about these crunchy vegetables called peppers? You got it, great for your teeth. How about cheese? Cheese also makes a really great snack. It doesn't hang around and doesn't cause cavities. It goes in the tooth yay. Now boys and girls, I saved my trickiest one for you last. What about ice cream? Ice cream kind of has some sugar in it, right? So it kind of tastes like a candy, but it's made of dairy. And can you carry it around with you? Does it get stuck in your teeth? Nope, it's kind of like yogurt. So as long as you don't have like gummy bears in your ice cream or candies in your ice cream, ice cream's actually a really good snack. So guess what? I get to put ice cream in tooth, yay! Isn't that awesome? So now you found something that, that you can tell your parents. Dr. Lindsay says, ice cream's better for my teeth than pretzels. Isn't that awesome? Maybe you earn yourself a couple extra bowls of ice cream sometimes, or as an awesome dessert. All right, well I hope you, I hope that you got some of these right and that you can start making healthy choices for your teeth every day. Don't forget to brush your teeth for two minutes twice a day and use that dental floss. And don't forget to go to the dentist to have them check your teeth. You guys have a great day. See you later.